Hi everyone. I'm here live, so I'm gonna wait until I see that some people are on here. Um, it is September 1st. We had an amazing month last month after a slow summer. So I'm super excited and so proud of everybody for working so hard. I've heard so many stories of people just really busting their butts to get their rank or just to get kit sales and whatever done workshops last minute and all of that. Hi, Ashley. So, um, yeah, you guys rocked it last month. I'm so excited about what what's going to be happening this this quarter, just FYI, Young Living included Royal Crown Diamonds in a phone call to plan out the rest of the year. So they already have all the promos set up for the rest of the year and even for the first quarter of the year for January, February, uh, March. And if you are loving all of the promos the way that they've been this month and last month, guess what? They're going to be even more awesome. So the rest of the year is going to be amazing. Morning, everyone. And I'm super excited. I know it's going to be awesome. And so I thought for September 1st, it would just be a great idea for us to just sit as a group. And if you aren't able to watch this live, you can just sit when you get a chance to watch this later. And the more that we put our intentions together and work together as a team, and put our energies and our thoughts and our prayers out to the universe, to God, whatever your belief system is, the more powerful it's going to be for us. Um, so September 1st happens to also be a new moon. So the new moon, apparently, I don't really know that much, but I'm learning more about it. I'm gonna read you a little thing. Today's there's a new moon, and the new moon allows us to connect with our most authentic selves, understand our truths, and take steps to begin living them. The new moon generates more negative ions than the full, and this helps us feel calmer while we decide on our new goals. This is a time to invoke what we want in our life, new purpose, projects, and agendas. In order to move forward and expand, we must lay a strong foundation for our next accomplishment, accomplishment, uh, I can't speak, accomplishments to rest on. The new moon is time to lay sturdy beams in our own foundation of self. Okay, so that is from a blog called Elephant Journal that my friend and life coach and business coach, coach Janice Duenas shared uh, I'm definitely subscribing to that. So even if you don't believe in like the new moon, full moon, all of that stuff, what this is basically just saying is that the new moon, there's we we in the northern part of the United uh, the world don't see the moon, right? The sun is shining on the other side. And so what this is focusing on is just helping us to see and shine the light on the part of us that stays hidden, the part that stays in the dark. And the part of us that I really want us to focus on today is our worthiness for abundance. Yeah, a lot of us, I think, we say we want abundance, we think we want abundance, and a lot of us don't truly feel that we are worthy of abundance. So this exercise is gonna walk you through a way to feel more worthy, to feel more truly abundant, and let's get going, okay? So if you have your oils with you, go ahead and get your grounding oil. I love humility. So I got to go on a trip to Hawaii, the Drive to Win trip to Hawaii two years ago with uh, Gary Young there, and he said that he created humility because humility you have to have it in order to be abundant. You can be abundant in lots of things, but you're not going to stay abundant unless you have humility. And so he actually looks at the sales of each individual oil, and he's always shocked at how humility is one of the least ordered oils. So, of course, after the Drive to Win contest, everybody that went there ordered humility, and it went out of stock. So 
I suspect that we will probably make humility go out of stock. Everyone should get it. It smells amazing. So go ahead and put your grounding oil, a drop of it, in your hands and just rub your hands together and hold your hands over your nose and mouth and take three deep breaths. And go ahead and close your eyes. And while you have your eyes closed and you're taking those three deep breaths, I want you to say in your head quietly, I am worthy. Okay, and just over and over, just while you've, you're taking those breaths in, say, I am worthy. Three times, three breaths, go ahead. I am worthy, you are worthy. We're all worthy of abundance in our life, in all areas of our life. So, I want you to now take your abundance oil or whatever oil you've chosen, build your dream, whatever it is, and apply it to your wrists or wherever. I like to put it on my wrists and then take a little bit and put it behind my ears, maybe even a little on the crown of my head or on the base of my brain stem, okay? So wherever you want, put that one on, okay? And let's take our hands, hopefully you've got it on your wrist, you've got your humility or whatever on your hands, and take three more breaths in with your eyes closed, saying, I am worthy, just in your head. Okay, so now go ahead and open your eyes. I want you to get your check, or if you don't have a check, I saw that some of you had didn't have extra checks, so go ahead and just use a piece of paper. You can cut it so that it works for you and it kind of looks like a check and you can just draw the little outlines. And what you want to do is, in the pay to section, write your name, okay? And then in the dollar amount, go ahead and write paid in full. And then in the other dollar amount where you would actually write out the words of the money amount, again, paid in full. And then sign it, the law of abundance or God or whatever you believe in, whatever fits right for your belief system. And then in the memo section, you can write thank you or in gratitude or whatever you want to say as a way to be grateful and humble for all that life is going to bring you, okay? And then I want you to put that check somewhere where you're going to see it very often. So maybe it's on your computer, maybe it's on your fridge, maybe it's on your bathroom mirror. Every time you walk by it, I want you to remind yourself and say to yourself, thank you, universe, God, whatever your belief system is. Thank you for the abundance that you're bringing into my life. And just let that be the thought that goes out to the universe energetically. Okay? Your belief system's always taking care of you and always providing for you. So that's something that we really need to remember. That God, the universe, whatever your belief system, we were put on this earth for a reason. And we really want to make sure that we're aware that we have a purpose and that there is something guiding us. So Kayla, yes, what you put on the check, you're going to write your name in the pay to section. Then you're going to write the dollar amount paid in full. And again, where you would write out all the words for what you're paying, you're going to write paid in full again. And then you're going to sign it the law of abundance. Nope, you don't date it. You just leave it open-ended. I know that some people put the date months ahead, so you could do that as well. Um, I kind of like just leaving things open-ended so that it could happen sooner than we think or later than we think. And then when you put the memo section, then you're going to write thank you. Oh, yeah, Danielle, that's a great thing. That was in my notes. Take your checkbook and rub that abundance and humility and whatever the oils are all over your checks. That's okay. 
If you already dated it, no worries. That's still going to work. Okay, there's no wrong way to do this. Okay, so now let's get to the guided imagery. I don't want to take too much time. I know that you guys are taking time out of your day. So I want you to just sit where you are with your feet firmly grounded. No, you don't actually write a dollar amount. You just write paid in full. And then the universe will figure out what you're going to get paid with. It might be money. It might be other things in your life. Health and friendships or opportunities or whatever. Okay, so if you messed up, then go ahead and just do that with another one. Um, let's go ahead and do the guided imagery now. So go ahead and just get your feet firmly planted on the ground and sit somewhere where you're going to be comfortable and go ahead and close your eyes and take three more breaths while you're holding your hands over your nose so that you can breathe those oils in that are on your hands and in your, on your wrists. And again, just say, I am worthy, I am worthy three times as you take three slow, deep breaths, okay? Okay, and while you keep your eyes closed, I'm gonna read my little script here, but while you keep your eyes closed and feel yourself firmly sitting or whatever you're doing, feeling very safe, I want you to see in your mind's eye or imagine that you can see your downline viewer. Your downline viewer is where you can see your OGV and you're looking at your numbers from August and you're looking at your numbers for September now, at the end of September, and your numbers have increased significantly, okay? to the point that your OGV, your business legs, are at the level they need to be for you to hit your next rank. So look at those numbers carefully. See it in your mind's eye. Your eyes are closed. You're imagining or thinking about your downline viewer and your numbers are right where they need to be so that you can hit the next rank. And look at how the screen says where it says the rank, highest rank, you are that next rank. And see how the screen is showing how your downline team members have also ranked up. And feel or imagine the feelings of success, of accomplishment. Feel or imagine the feelings of happiness for your team members, for ranking up, for doing so well. Feel or imagine the feelings of gratitude to your team members and the pride that you feel of knowing that you are the leader of this team. So see that in your mind's eye, feel it, sense it, make it real in the here and now, okay? You are that next rank. Your OGV is right where it needs to be. Your team is doing amazing. They're ranking up. And now in your mind's eye, I want you to project yourself into the future. Maybe it's a few months ahead. Maybe it's a few years ahead. You are diamond now. So look at that OGV on your downline viewer now. Imagine it, look at it, think about it. 250 OGV, five legs are showing up in your downline at 15,000 PV each. You also have your PGV outside of those legs at 1,000 or maybe even more so that you're closer to Crown Diamond or Royal Crown Diamond. But look at that OGV. You did it. You're the rank of diamond. And feel or imagine the rush of excitement, happiness, and joy. How you just want to jump out of your skin and scream at the top of your lungs with joy. Because you are a diamond. It was faster. It was easier than you could have ever imagined. And I want you to imagine looking back to this moment, this video, this live abundance workshop guided imagery. And... Look at the time that has passed, and it went so quickly. And imagine and or feel or imagine the feeling of surprise at knowing that this exercise didn't happen that long ago. That ever since you participated in this guided imagery exercise, you've had all the time, all of the energy, all of the focus that you need to build your business to diamond. 
and that all the kit sales and all the business people, the motivated, really rock star business people are just falling into your lap, falling into your life. Okay, that that has happened so easily, so effortlessly that right now you are a diamond. So look at your OGV right now, see it in your mind's eye, 250 OGV, five legs at 15,000 PV, PGV of 1,000. You can see on that screen, you are a diamond, okay? So notice the beginning of tears welling up in the corners of your eyes of the butterflies in your stomach, of the joy in your heart. Take a moment and sit with that feeling of knowing that you did it, that you are a diamond, that you led your team, and that your team helped you, and they were motivated, and they did it, you did it. And so feel it, sense it, See it in your mind's eye, imagine it, and imagine as if it's real, and feel it throughout your whole entire body. You are a diamond, and it happens so much faster, so much more easily. All that needed to happen to get you there happened easily and effortlessly, and everything just fell right into your lap, okay? So feel it, sense it, imagine it, create it within your mind's eye as something that is real. Okay, so just know that moving on from this point forward, these images, these thoughts, that reality, those feelings have been permanently recorded in your innermost mind. They're going to be there forever. The universe, God, whatever your belief system is, is already working on making that your reality. There's nothing else you need to do except continue to be grateful and humble. Okay, so while you still have your eyes closed, I want all of us to send love and gratitude. We're going to send love and gratitude to your upline, to your enroller. Okay, the person that sold you your kit, whether or not you have a relationship with that person or whatever, let's all send love and gratitude to that person because if it hadn't been for that person, you wouldn't be here now, right? And let's send love and gratitude to all of all of your upline, everybody, all the way from you up to Gary and Mary Young. All of those people paved the pathway for us to be successful. And if they hadn't done what they had done in the last 20 years, we wouldn't have been able to come into Young Living and do what we did. So let's send grateful happy, loving thoughts to all of them. And let's send love and gratitude to your downline members. We would never be where we are without our downline members, every single one of them. And let's especially send a lot of love and gratitude to those that need some OGV growth, those business members that need some help, that might be struggling, that might be stuck. Let's just send all of them love and gratitude and blanket all of them in a warm blanket of pink fuzzy energy. Send that love and energy up, up, up to our upline, okay? And let's send this love and energy, that pink fuzzy love and gratitude blanket of warm energy to Young Living, right? We need to make sure that Young Living knows that we appreciate them. Let's send that love and gratitude to the corporate staff for making all of the wonderful decisions that they make to help us, to member services for always helping us and being so useful and helpful, to Gary and Mary Young for their health and well-being, for their you know, foresight of, of creating this company to the plants, on the farms, to all of that, okay? So send love and energy to Young Living, and now send love and energy to yourself, okay? You are worthy of being abundant in all areas of your life. So send love and energy and gratitude to yourself for having the wisdom of knowing that Young Living was the right choice for you, for deciding to do the business, 
for being worthy of abundance in all areas of your life, in your health, happiness, endless love and joy and laughter in your life, wonderful relationships, for all the things that are going to occur in your life, for all the, the negative things that have happened in your life that have led you to be the person that you are. Show gratitude, be grateful, and send love to all those hardships that you've had to overcome in your life to get to where you are. Because if you didn't have those hardships, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be who you are. Okay? So send love and gratitude to your Young Living business, knowing that it's going to grow by leaps and bounds. And send love and energy to whatever other parts of your life that you are thankful and grateful for. And know that the universe, God, whatever your belief system is, is always providing for you, always taking care of you, and always working in your highest and best good. Okay? So thanks for joining me. I hope that you found this helpful. Feel free to rewatch it over and over and over as many times as you need so that you can be as abundant as possible and feel that you are worthy of abundance. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn this off.